In this United Methodist Hospital in Liberia, there is sporadic electricity. Records are kept by hand because computers are scarce, unreliable, and impractical. But like 75% of the world, cell phones are available and affordable. It looks stable now. It looks stable now. Yeah. It's the use of appropriate, available technology that's the driving force behind United Methodist Communications ICT for D, Information and Communications Technology for Development. If this doctor needs to send an immediate health alert to multiple villages or other doctors, he can utilize open source software called Frontline SMS. It sends group cell phone texting without the use of the internet. By using the mass text messaging software, life-saving information can be broadcast to health centers and communities. In developing countries, the kind of high-tech, entertainment-oriented technology that drives American and European consumers is simply out of place. In these societies, primitive practices often run headfirst into 21st century demands. United Methodist Communications ICT for D church initiatives help to integrate novel solutions with regional realities. Haiti shares many of the challenges of emergent nations. There's limited access to power and the internet. In this complex landscape, traditional computers supplied by well-meaning donors often aren't practical. The rugged conditions make short life of those technologies. United Methodist Communications is working with volunteer and mission teams as well as local and international partners to build technological capacity that is sustainable and empowering. Everybody wanted to go to the laboratory to learn and to touch on the screen, to, to touch the keyboard, to use the mouse. They, they were so enthusiastic and they just wanted to live in the, in the computer rooms. In this lab, 12-year-old Angeline looks at the computer screen and sees the world opening up. I want to use it for research. I would like to know a lot of things. This community closed the book on outdated textbooks and now uses localized software and the internet for 21st century education. The facility runs on solar energy. It is equipped with ruggedized, ultra-low power equipment. It works out pretty good. It employs locally trained management, teachers, and Invenio certified technicians. Finally, there are multiple uses for the lab. It's a place to congregate. There's power here. They can charge their phones. They can get on the internet. They can Skype. They can take a computer course. This makes sense. A computer lab for students during the day, a cyber cafe and copy center after school. Technology alone is never the answer. It's confusing, breaks down, wears out, and provides little human relief. But by using appropriate technology, we empower people by providing proper training and support. Community development prospers in health, education, agriculture, business, and even simply sharing God's love. That's the whole idea behind United Methodist Communications ICT for D church initiatives. To partner or learn more, or even to purchase technology for your next mission trip, Contact us at umcom.org/global.